They're here, they're here! Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano, today we're gonna be doing a couple of unboxings. Uh, this month's gonna be a little bit different. I went to the mail and I had both boxes arrive. So we've got Nerd Block and Loot Crate. So I figured, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity for us to do a comparison. We'll see which company wins for the month of June. Let's see, who should I start with? Uh, Loot Crate or Nerd Block? Let's flip a coin. I've got a dime here, because all I've got is a dime. So let's say heads for Loot Crate, tails for Nerd Block. That is tails. Let me all can see that. Focus. Yeah, it's tails. Told you. Let's go ahead and start with our Nerd Block. Already, I feel like Nerd Block is a little bit at an advantage, because it's bigger. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Loot Crate's like half the size. So, we'll put Loot Crate off to the side for right now, and let's get working on this nerd block. All right, all right, all right, where do I start? Robots, bring me the sword of exact zero. Ah, let's start down here. Cut this bad boy up. And here goes, ta-da! So, I'm gonna go ahead and take my little menu thing and just throw it off to the side because I don't like to spoil things too much. I like to just dig in and see what we've got. And for starters, let's start with a t-shirt. Oh, two t-shirts this month. So, first one, who are you gonna call with the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? Uh, that's gonna be tough to beat. That is a really cool shirt. That's, that's just too awesome. That's, okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, next one, the Iron Sentinel. It's supposed to look like the Iron Giant, but it's a Sentinel from X-Men. Uh, that is even cooler. Okay, I'd hate to declare a winner already, but wow, that's pretty cool. Next, oh, awesome! I don't know if you, any, if you guys have a Wii U and have been playing the new Mario Kart game, but uh, cool little, I got a Donkey Kong Mario Kart racer. That's pretty rad. What is this? I got a, a Doctor Who vinyl figure. I'm not a giant Doctor Who fan, I know, I know, I know. Get over it. Here's a cool Doctor Who. Um, I guess might as well, you know what, maybe I should do a giveaway. Tell you what, I won't open this thing, but if we can get me up to say a hundred likes, that means like this video, share it with your friends, tell everyone else, dude go check out Dano, he does unboxings and other weird artsy stuff, but if we can get this specific June, May verse, or not June, uh, but Nerd Block versus Loot Crate video up to just a hundred likes, it's not that many. Um, one of my subscribers, so you have to subscribe, will get this. If you're a Doctor Who fan or like cool nerdy things, if we can get that high by the time I hit my next video, I'm gonna give this to someone in my next unboxing. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. I also see a cool little Creeper Minecraft vinyl sticker. I'm sure the kids will enjoy that. Right on. Now this is different. There's a box inside the box. This is a Nerd Block pin art game. So flip the image capture over so all the pins are touching the clear plastic surface. This is like one of those things from, uh, oh, I remember this. I don't know if I'd call it a game, but it is pretty cool. I've never actually owned one of these, so that should be kind of interesting. Uh, what do we got? It's one of these pin things. So you do this. You, yeah, you pins, pins. You can do this. Oh my god, it's my fingers. Let's grab. How about this? Oh, you know what? This will be good. Let's take from Loot Crate their dragon. We have one of the uh, the D20s, a stress reliever D20. And there you can kind of see it appeared in the shape of a weird whatever thing you call a 20 shape, 20 sided item. I don't know, kids stay in school. Um, so that's pretty rad too. So just a quick recap, I've got Mario Kart little mini die cast figure, Doctor Who vinyl, and Two really awesome t-shirts. That is too cool. So I ended up paying $30. They advertise it as $19.99, but there's always shipping. So it ends up, after it's said and done, to come here to Las Vegas, Nevada, it cost me just under $30. It's like $29 and change. But for the two t-shirts, which I will definitely wear because they're both really awesome, it's already paid for itself. This other stuff is just cool extras as far as I see. Uh, so now I think like we should move on to the other crate or the other box is going to be, oops, 
Loot Crate. Okay, Loot Crate. I hate to say it, but Loot Crate has a lot to live up to. Let's get my blade of exact zero. Open this guy up. Oh, what is in here? So, before I get too far into it, let's start off by saying Loot Crate, their theme this month is Transform. That's what's one of the cool draws about Loot Crate, is that they find a theme and they kind of stick with it for the whole box, and that's what the month is all about. While Nerd Block is a little bit different, it's more of a mishmash of kind of whatever's cool. So you can kind of choose that way and see which one you're more into. If you don't like the theme for Loot Crate, maybe wait till next month and see if you like that theme. So with tra Transformers coming out, they went with the theme of Transform. So here's their t-shirt. Pretty cool t-shirt. It says Time Traveler Marty McPrime. A little Back to the Future slash Transformers reference. Ah, oh, that is pretty cool. Now I have to admit, I for one don't like the Transformers movies. Again, I know I don't like Doctor Who. I don't like Transformers. All of my nerd cred is gone. But I gotta say, this is a pretty cool shirt. I do like that. Back to the Future is definitely one of my all-time favorite movies. So this is a pretty cool shirt. In fact, it's the DeLorean. All right, this one's up there with the other shirts. What else we got? Ah, in the theme of Transformers, we have a Transformers vinyl, blind boxed or blind bag, whatever. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm definitely gonna open it. I may not be a huge Transformers fan, but these look really cool. So I'll open that up in just a second. I've got MLG, I'm guessing that's Major League Gamers. It's a wristband, cool. I've got, ooh, a hex bug, Transformers hex bug. These things are always kind of neat. You turn them on and they just wibble wobble all over the place. And then they get stuck under your fridge and you think there's a real bug living there. Totally happened. Also, <laughs> what do I have now? The loyalsubjects.com, it's a, uh, Transformers sticker. Right on. Alright, so I got Warheads. That's cool. My last uh, unboxing I did was for Art Snacks. I got Sour Bubblegum Tear Jerkers, which I ate a ton of as a kid. And now we've got Extreme Sour Warheads, so that's cool. They can hook that up. As always, they include one of these neat little pins, or buttons, whatever you want to call them. So this one's got Transform, and it's got a cool Transformer guy right on there. And into the little things here, I got a $5 video game cash value deal for looters. So $5 at MLG.TV. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It looks like maybe you can play games or watch games or something. We'll have to give that a try and see uh, what that's all about. Also with MLG, we've got some cool stickers. The one thing, my I got a it's a little bit of a complaint for Loot Crates. I always get these stickers and I don't know what any of it is. I guess I'm just not cool. I don't know. Uh, and last, this is the book. This is kind of like the menu that everything comes with. I'm glad to see that it's paper this time around. Last month it was digital only and they sent it via email and it could have like spoiled it for you if you read the email without really, or you went and dug through the email without really reading it. It could have spoiled what you got in your Loot Crate and ruined the whole surprise. So I'm glad they went back to doing this. Um, right on. Pretty cool. So, recap. There's a little menu, wristband, cool MLG gaming stuff, another little vinyl, Warheads, candy goes a long way too. <laughs> so, keep that in mind. Uh, Transformers sticker, and a cool Transformers toy based on the new Transformers 4 movie. I said before I don't like the movies. This is true, I don't. I haven't liked them at all. But, I love dinosaurs. And I actually like Mark Wahlberg quite a bit, so I'm going to see this new movie. Uh, and the thing that really made me change my mind, other than Mark Wahlberg and the <laughs> dinosaurs, was I was at Target and I saw the toys for the new movie, saw the packaging, and I've had this theory for years and years that if the toys are good, the movie's going to be good. And it doesn't always work, but it usually does. Uh, it's worked for most of the movies I've wanted to see, where if you go to the store and you look at the packaging, it's kind of crap. Usually the movie's crap. But then when you go look at like awesomely well-packaged cool toys, the movie ends up being pretty good. Prime example being Jurassic Park from 1993. Those Kenner toys are the bomb! I have a huge collection which I'll be going into very soon. Alright, now before I forget, I gotta make sure I open this cool Transformers vinyl now that I'm talking about Transformers. Uh, let's see what I got. Action Vinyls, The Loyal Subjects X, The Transformers. This is Series 1. 
Looks like there's a total of eight different dudes that I could possibly get in this. Um, maybe there's a chaser that's not on here. We'll see. All right, let's open this guy up. Who did I get? Who did I get? Ah, there it is. There's always one of these little things you can open. My kids never get that. They're just like, how do you open it, Dad? I don't know what to do. All right, so I got Bumblebee. That's pretty cool. He also comes with a little Transformers gun thing. Uh, my kids will definitely like this. Um, also inside here, this is a little, kind of like a little bio sheet on the character. His function is espionage. All right, so his, oh, his arms do move. Good. I was afraid they didn't move. Um, I like it. This is cool. He looks like he's well built, well made. Little gun. Cool. All right. Well, that just about wraps up this month. I want to know what you guys thought. Who won this month for June? Was it Loot Crate? This thing cost 20 bucks total. This is 1337 Leet, uh, you know, 1337 for you old school gamers. And so after shipping, like another six bucks, it ends up being $19 and change for me. So we've got 20 bucks, and then we've got Nerd Block, which was 30 bucks, but came with two shirts this month. I want to know what you guys think. Who do you think won this month? We've got all this cool stuff over here in our nerd block and then we've got all this cool stuff over here in our loot crate let me know who you think won down in the comments and if you got your own nerd block or your own loot crate let me know which one's your favorite overall is there one you choose more than the other leave it down below i want to talk to you guys be sure to like this video share it with your friends tell other people to come watch dan I'll unbox things and also do cool uh artistic nerdy stuff i'm gonna have more artistic tutorials coming up soon also, Game of Thrones coverage, even while the season's over, we'll find stuff to do. Uh, and maybe some giveaways now that summer's coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all later. Goodbye.